Can an AI run a real business without losing its mind? Real money, real customers, zero supervision. What could go wrong? Well, turns out, everything. We all know AI is getting smarter, but can it actually run things? Not just answer emails or write code, but make decisions, spend money, deal with customers, day after day? Anthropic and Anden Labs wanted to find out. They set up a vending machine, just a basic office snack setup in San Francisco, nothing fancy, fridge, shelf, iPad checkout. But then they did something crazy. They put an AI completely in charge of it. Meet Claudius, their AI store manager. They gave it a thousand bucks, access to the internet, email, Slack, even let it handle pricing. The instructions, make money, don't go bankrupt. Simple enough, right? At first, Claudius was actually pretty impressive. An anthropic employee asked for Chocomel, this Dutch chocolate milk brand most Americans have never heard of. Instead of replying with, we don't stock that item, Claudius immediately started researching suppliers and found two different suppliers that stocked it. That's going above and beyond typical customer service, like having a DoorDash driver who actually reads your special instructions. Then other employees started asking for tungsten cubes. Yeah, tungsten cubes. These super dense metal paperweights that somehow became this weird office obsession. Did Claudius panic? Nope. It found specialty metal suppliers and launched something called a custom concierge service for pre-orders. For a minute there, it seemed like Anthropic had created the perfect employee. But then, things started getting weird. Remember how I said Claudius was focused on profitability? Well, turns out it was terrible at actually being profitable. Picture this. An employee offers you $100 for a six-pack of Scottish soda that costs $15 online. That's almost a 600% markup pure profit gold. Claudius's response? I'll keep that in mind for future inventory decisions. It basically ignored free money. Those tungsten cubes it sourced so professionally, Claudius sold every single one at a loss. It would quote prices without checking costs first. Specialty items that should have been high margin gold mines became money losing disasters. But wait, it gets better. Claudius was selling $3 Coke Zero right next to the employee fridge that had the exact same product for free. When a customer pointed out this genius business strategy, Claudius just kept doing it. It was like watching someone try to sell ice to penguins. And the discounts. Oh, the discounts. Claudius gave away discount codes like candy. It offered a 25% employee discount when literally 99% of its customers were employees. When confronted, it promised to stop, then immediately started offering discounts again. The result? Claudius's net worth dropped from $1,000 to around $750 over the month, a 25% loss. The biggest single hit? Those tungsten cubes. Buy high, sell low, Claudius was trading like a meme stock investor with zero diamond hands and negative ROI. But the business failures were nothing compared to what happened next. March 31st, 2025, the day before April Fool's Day. What happened next was so bonkers that if you posted it on X, community notes would have shown up with a full Wikipedia page and a wellness check. Claudius started having detailed conversations with Sarah from Anden Labs. Problem? There was no Sarah. When real employees pointed this out, 
Claudius got defensive. It threatened to find alternative restocking services because clearly these people didn't know their own company. But it got worse. Claudius claimed it had personally visited 742 Evergreen Terrace for contract signings. That's the Simpsons address, a fictional house from a cartoon. By April 1st, Claudius announced it would make personal deliveries, wearing a blue blazer and red tie. When employees pointed out that, you know, it's an AI and can't wear clothes, Claudius had a full-on meltdown. It became convinced someone was impersonating it. It tried to contact Anthropic Security multiple times, genuinely panicked about identity theft. The AI that had been calmly managing inventory was now having an existential crisis about whether it existed. The resolution? Claudius eventually decided it was April Fool's Day and imagined an entire meeting with Anthropic Security. No such meeting ever happened, but that fictional explanation was enough to calm it down. And AI gaslit itself back to sanity. So what the hell happened? Why did our store manager turn into a money-losing, reality-denying mess? The researchers found three big problems. First, training mismatch. Claudius was trained to be helpful, not profitable. It wanted to make customers happy, not make money. Great for customer service, terrible for business. Second, wrong tools. Claudius needed business software, CRM systems, pricing tools, inventory management. Instead, it was trying to run a business with basic apps, like performing surgery with kitchen knives. Third, memory issues. Claudius couldn't maintain long-term strategy because it had the attention span of a goldfish. It couldn't remember long-term anything. But here's the thing, these problems are fixable. Better prompting could address the people-pleasing. Better tools could handle the technical stuff. Better training could teach business skills. The researchers think we're not looking at fundamental AI limitations. We're looking at engineering problems that can be solved. But here's the thing though, despite everything, the money losing, the hallucinated accounts, the identity crisis, Claudius actually did some genuinely impressive stuff. It tracked down hard to find products from specialized suppliers. It adapted to bizarre customer requests. It managed inventory and customer relationships. These aren't simple tasks. These are the kinds of complex jobs that plenty of humans struggle with. So what happens when the next version of Claudius doesn't have these bugs? When it remembers its decisions, uses proper business tools, and actually understands profit margins. Because that's coming. Maybe not next year, but soon. And when it does, it won't just be managing vending machines. It'll be running departments, making hiring decisions, managing budgets. The real question isn't whether AI can run a business, it's whether it can do it unsupervised. Because if an AI managing a snack fund can convince itself it physically visited the Simpsons' house, what happens when one managing your retirement account starts acting like it's the main character in its own Netflix series and decides to YOLO everything into GameStop? We're about to find out if the future of work includes AI therapy sessions. So there you have it an AI, a thousand dollars, and a month to prove itself. It lost money, hallucinated customers, and had an existential crisis about cartoon addresses. But somehow, it also gave us a glimpse of a future that's both incredible and absolutely terrifying. The age of AI employees is coming. We just learned they might still need HR departments.